Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another year of Planmas. Um, I know it's been a little sporadic, like yes, today is the 10th of December and Planmas should technically be starting on the 1st of December, but the first week and a half of December in my life has been so busy, like I can't even... Ugh. I had every intention on starting Planmas the first week of December, going all the way through until Christmas, but I've had events and work and so much stuff that I haven't been able to edit the videos that I need to upload. So bear with me. Um, I did post a haul as a part of Planmas. Those are all of my Christmas kits and everything. Um, I have a lot of really fun videos planned for Planmas, so bear with me. I like on top of getting caught up, like I'm not as far behind this year as I was last year, which is really nice. Um, I am still needing to plan all of November, like so you guys will see all of my November spreads and all of my December spreads, um, but it's not as far behind as I was last year. I was still planning summer last year and yeah, it was it was a lot. So we are here to share in some spreads. These are spreads that I've had done for months and I just haven't had time to upload. So I figured, you know what? I will upload them for Planmas 2023. So I hope you guys are excited because I have a lot of like on top of plan with me videos and stuff and like getting caught up in my planner. I have a lot of like other content that is going to go up for Planmas. Like I have my planner lineup. I want to do a planner flip because I didn't film any of my October spreads. There's like several, like a whole, month and a half worth of spreads that I didn't film um, so you guys won't see those until I do my planner flip so I'm gonna do a planner flip like a whole 2023 planner um, I have my planner my December planner kit lineup that I'm gonna do I have a sticker storage video that I'm gonna do because we're going to the new year and I ordered some new sticker storage stuff from Ray and Taco so I'm gonna do a sticker storage and it's gonna be a lot of fun I have big goals for plan miss and I hope you guys are excited for it. Like on top of just me getting caught up in my planner, I have some really fun goals to do for Planmas. So with all that being said, um, I was in love with how this spread turned out. This is a kit from Buttercream Stickers. Um, it's called Getaway and I used it for the week that me and my husband went on a little vacation. This was like the last vacation we took for the summer. We always try to go to the river every single year. And this year we went with some of our really good friends and we floated two different, so where we go to go float the river, it's um, near San Antonio. It's not like, it's an hour outside of San Antonio. It's called, um, there's a town called San Marcos and there's also a town called New Braunfels. And we floated, um, we floated the river in New Braunfels and then we floated the river in San Marcos. So we floated two different rivers on this trip and we went and we hung out. We had some, we went to some really awesome restaurants with some of our friends, which was a lot of fun. And yeah, um, another fun thing, this was the first spread where I really played around with, um, my full boxes. Uh, you'll see in the next video, I'm really excited about the next video, but with this one, I played around with like the offsetting of the boxes and adding a bunch of deco and um, alcohol ink swatches. And I layered them with a bunch of like foiled dividers and things like that. And I just had a bunch of fun playing out. And that like started me on a whole path. Like it started, it, it started a trend for me. So I was really excited about the spread. I loved the creativity I felt with laying down my full boxes and utilizing these big deco pieces. Um, I love buttercream stickers kits and I love getting her, um, deck like journaling sheets too, but there's so much like deco and I was like, okay, what am I going to do? I really want to use these deco sheets. Like to their fullest. So really playing around with the full boxes this way started me on a whole kick and you're going to see it in a bunch of upcoming spreads because I, I, I've just, I've gotten to the point to where I know what I like. I like horizontal sidebars. I like playing around with my full boxes and that's kind of my jam right now. So yeah. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the stickers that I laid down, I know I did a lot of talking. I didn't talk about the base like hardly at all, but um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Um, so starting off on Monday, I marked that we woke up early and I just marked that utilizing some florals from the kit. And then this um, adorable alarm clock icon is one that my mom made for me. Um, I marked that we got ready and 
I marked that with a little fancy box that came with the kit and I kind of, you know, I was utilizing some of the deco that was bleeding over from some of the full boxes. Um, that's another thing about doing my full boxes this way is I've really had to get creative and like learn how to work in my columns with all of my full boxes being this way. So it's taken some time. This was my first time doing it. It gets much better as the spreads go on, but, um, yeah, I was really, I'm really happy with this. Um, okay. I marked that we floated the river and I love the way I marked that. I pulled in some clouds. I think those are a mixture of clouds from Sadie stickers and also the pretty pink co I layered it with the lace circle that came with one of the, that it's one of the lace circles that came with the kit, some florals, and then the little bikini is from White Deer Stationery. And then to cap off the night, me, my husband, and our friends, we stayed up and watched The Pope's Exorcist, which that's actually a really good movie. It has Russell Crowe in it. If you guys know me, you know I am a horror movie fanatic. I am a special effects makeup artist, and so like horror movies are my jam. I love them so very much. Um, this was a really good movie. Like I, I just thought it was really well done. Um, okay, so jumping over to Tuesday, I marked waking up early again. I pulled in, that's actually a swatch box that came with a sampler from Miss and Meow. I just felt like the colors matched perfectly. It was rose gold as well. So I was like, oh, perfect. Um, oh, but because in case I haven't mentioned this, which I don't think I have, this kit is rose gold. Um, I love the little lashes. That's an icon from White Deer Stationery. Um, I marked that we met up with um, my best friend and her husband. They came into town to float the river as well. So I marked that with the custom RAV4 icon that my mom made for me with some florals from the kit, a bunch of dot accents, a mixture of dot accents from Ink Paper Plan, who is sadly no longer open, which makes me so sad. Um, but I also pulled in some dot accents from... Paper Trail Plans, Sadie Stickers, The Pretty Pink Co. I have found, I think one of the biggest like discoveries for me in 2023 is I love dot clusters, like dot clusters of any shape, size, variety. I love them. I think that they, they're they seasonless. You can use them any time of the year. They go with whatever spread you're doing. And I have definitely pulled them in to like every single spread this year. But anyways, continuing on, on Wednesday, I woke, I marked waking up early again, and I marked it the same way as I marked it on Monday with some florals that came with the kit and the alarm clock icon that my mom made for me. Um, I marked that we finished up packing because we, so we left um, to go on this trip on the Sunday before. So like I, I started marking it in the last spread that you guys saw from me. Um, and then we stayed until obviously Wednesday. So um, I marked that we um, finished packing up and I marked that with a quarter box that came with the kit with some florals. That adorable little suitcase icon is from uh, Crafts by Towie. And then I marked that we went to this little breakfast place called Wildflower, which it's spelled like F-L-O-U-R. So like flower, like baking flower. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, it was this adorable little like breakfast cafe and they got packed. Like I'm amazed that we were able to actually get a table. Like it was so full. Like it was, we actually had to wait to be seated because like it's a really popular little breakfast place. And I was really, I was really excited that I got to use that little cinnamon roll icon from White Deer Stationery. I have a bunch of these adorable little food icons from White Deer Stationery that I'm like, I know I will use them eventually. So they're just sitting in my collection just waiting for me to use. So I was so excited that I got to pull that in. Um, I marked that we drove home. So to mark that, I pulled in another fancy box, layered it with some florals, and then the custom RAV4 icon that my mom made for me. Um, I marked that whenever we got home, I um, got some Happy Mail, and that's actually an icon that came with that same sampler. Um... So the scallop circle that I used on Wednesday is actually from that same Miss and Meow sampler. Um, and that's where this icon is from. I think it's so cute, so adorable. And then a cap of the night, I had a YouTube binge. YouTube binge. <laughs> um, I think I was just getting caught up on like some planner YouTube because I had been on vacation. So I hadn't been able to watch, you know, any of my regulars. Um, okay, so on Thursday, I marked getting up early again, and I used it, I marked it the same way as I marked it on Tuesday with a swatch from Miss and Meow that came from that same sampler. Um, and then the little lashes are, of course, from White Deer Stationery. I marked getting ready for the day because we had work on this day. Like, it was immediate, like, jump back into the saddle as soon as we got back from vacation. Um, I marked it, I marked getting ready with some florals from the kit and then the, um, eyeshadow palette is from white deer stationery and then i marked that we had a gig at the college here in town um i think we were probably doing 
gosh, we were probably doing a photo booth since I marked it with a little carousel. Generally, if I don't want use like a balloon dog or an airbrush like gun icon, it's probably like a photo booth or carnival games that we're working. So to mark that, I pulled in a scalloped frame from the kit, layered it with some florals, and then the icon is from Cross by Towie. I marked that I played with stickers and that's from that same Miss and Meow sampler. I love it. I just, I thought the colors from that sampler matched this kit so perfectly. Um, and then a cap of the night, I just marked that I went to the gym with my best friend, I marked that with a quarter box and some florals, and then the custom little um, icon, the girl with the barbell on her back, is one that my mom made for me. Okay, so on Friday, I marked getting up early, and I just, same, I marked it the same all week, like I alternated, like either the little alarm clock that my mom made for me, or the lashes from White Deer Stationery, um, and... I pulled in some florals and of course some dot clusters. I marked that I had a personal training session with my client. Um, this is one of the last sessions that we had together before she went um, on maternity leave. She was, um, she had a baby. So we were um, meeting together, you know, as much as we could before she had her baby. Um, so I marked that with a quarter box, some florals, and then the icon is from White Deer Stationery. I marked that I ran to the grocery store. I don't think it was like a big grocery run. I think I just had to pick up some stuff for dinner. Um, so I marked that with another um, scallop circle from Miss and Meow. And then the grocery bag icon is from Cross by Towie. Okay, so on this day, I marked that I deep cleaned mine and my husband's bedroom. Like, I don't know what it is. It's like... Uh, if there's laundry that just stays on the floor, like, yes, I'm about to like say so much about myself. I hate laundry. Like, I think I've talked about this before. I hate laundry. Um, it's, it's one of those, like, this is the most least satisfying chore because it's truly, it's never truly done. Like you're always having to do laundry. And so we're notorious for like, if our laundry gets out of hand, our bedroom gets insanely dirty. So I deep cleaned our bedroom, our master bathroom. Um, and to mark that I pulled in the little bedding icon from white your stationery. Um, I marked that I listened to office ladies, which is like my favorite podcast to listen to. Um, I generally turn them on whenever I have like a long drive or I have to deep clean my house. So, um, I think I was listening to older episodes. It's, it's a, it's a podcast about my favorite show, which is The Office. Um, it's narrated by Angela Kinsey and Jenna Fisher, who played Pam and Angela in The Office. So it's so much fun to hear like them talk about The Office. Um, and then to cap off Friday, I marked folding all the laundry because the majority of the room that needed to be cleaned was laundry. So I just marked fold all the laundry. And I marked that with a quarter box, some florals, and the icon is from White Deer Stationery. Um, okay, on Saturday, I marked that I slept in and I marked it with a swatch box that came with the kit, some dot clusters, some florals, and then the little lashes icon is from White Deer Stationery. I marked that I did a home workout, which means I probably went to the, the little apartment gym here at my house. Um, and I marked that with a little fancy box that came with the kit, some florals, and then the icon is one that my mom made for me. Um, after that, I marked that it was just a lazy day at home. So I pulled in some more florals and then that icon is from White Deer Stationery. Um, and ugh, here we go. So obviously I didn't get all of the laundry. Obviously I didn't get all of the laundry done the day before. Cause I'm marking fold more clothes right here. It just, ugh, I'm telling you laundry is one of those chores. That's like you're, it's done for five seconds and then it's not done anymore. It's so frustrating. So to mark that I pulled in another quarter box, some florals, and then the icon is from crafts by Towie. Um, then I'm marking that I got some more happy mail in no surprise here with my shopping addiction when it comes to stickers, which actually I'm really surprised at myself because I actually had some restraint when it came to black Friday this year. Um, I had like a whole list. I shared it in stories, but when I went through my collection, I really toned down my list and the biggest purchase that I made for black Friday was actually from Ray and Tay because I was like, okay. I, if anything, I don't need more stickers. I need more places to put my stickers. So I got more storage options, which <sighs> I still need to put away. That's I've, I've been saving doing like my sticker storage organization and stuff until I could film it for plan mess because I have this whole big grand idea. So it's coming, it's coming. Um, okay. So, and then to cap off Saturday, I marked that I filmed a plan with me. I don't know which plan with me it was. This is back in August. So I don't know, but to mark that I pulled in a mini swatch box that came with the kit. And then the icon is from Cross by Towie. Um, okay. So marking, getting up, Oh, 
getting up, <laughs> jumping over to Sunday, I marked getting up and getting ready. So I pulled in a scallop circle frame that came with the kit, some florals, and then I used the little um, nail polish icon that's actually from um, a sampler from Miss and Meow. I marked that we went over to uh, Shane's grandmother's house. We go over there every Sunday. Um, I marked when I came home, I put on some makeup because I had some stuff I had to do that, that evening. So I marked it with a quarter box some florals and the icons from White Stationery. I marked that I talked to a really good friend on a Zoom call. We were discussing a music video. Um, and then to cap off the night, I had an airbrush face paint event. So to mark that, I pulled in the adorable little Polaroid, some florals, and then the icon is a custom that my mom made for me. Um, this is, these are all the leftovers that I have for this kit. I had so much fun with this spread. Like I said, this spread kind of started a trend of me doing all of like the decor, all the boxes very decoratively. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jen. I do planner things. I am going to be from here until December, until Christmas, I'm going to be doing plan So I hope you guys are ready for a lot of fun videos. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.